Hi, my name is Dominic Piva. I'm a translator and also known as CatGuru on YouTube. In this video, I will show you how to create a translation memory from two Word documents in two different languages, a process also known as alignment. And for that, I will be using an alignment tool called LF Aligner. So first, let's go to the homepage of uh, LF Aligner, and it's at uh, sourceforge.net. And this is because uh, LF Aligner is a freeware open source uh, tool. So I'll download the Windows version. There is a link here. And it's also available for Mac and uh, Linux. I will have a separate video for use with uh, Mac. So the file I downloaded is already in my downloads folder. I'll open it and it's a zip file with inside a folder called Aligner. And what I will do, I will copy this folder to the following location. So I will select my users folder and inside app data and local. And this is where I have a lot of uh, different applications. So I will drag the aligner folder to that location. It's quite big, as you can see, about 240 files in it and 47 megabytes. Let's wait until it's ready. Okay, it's ready. So let's open the folder. And inside that folder, there is the executable file LF Aligner 4.0.5, which is the version. So I'll start it. It can take some time before uh, the software detects the version of Windows. Okay, so Windows was uh, detected and now I have to choose the type of input files. Uh, that will be text uh, because it's uh, uh, Word documents that I will be dealing with. So I click on next. Uh, now I can choose the number of languages I want to use for the alignment. Two is the default, that's what I'm going to use. Language uh, one, uh, I will be using Finnish. And for language uh, number two, I will be using uh, Swedish. Okay, next. And now I have to browse to uh, tell Elefalana where my files are. So the first one is here in, on my desktop in the alignment project folder. I'll open it and I'll do the same with the Swedish file, which is this one. Okay, next. Okay, now the alignment has been performed and uh, I'm being told the segmenting seems to have gone well. That's good. I click on next. And uh, I can review the alignment. And for that, I have two possibilities. Either use the built-in graphical editor or use uh, Excel with an XLS file. So I'll use the graphical editor next. Okay, now I have my editor and I can review the alignment. I can see that the first segment uh, is not a correct alignment uh, because we have uh, only something in the second language but nothing in the first language. But that's fine because uh, LF Aligner was able to fall back on its uh, feet, so to speak. So I'll continue and I can check quickly in segments that have numbers like here. Uh, the same numbers are found, so probably the alignment is good. And if I go to the end, it looks quite good. Well, except on segment uh, 24, uh, I can see visually that uh, they do not match. In fact, uh, the text in Swedish belongs to the next segment. So Nermare is uh, more information. So that's the equivalent of Lisa Tietoya in Finnish. So for that, I can use the function keys here. Uh, that would be shift down to bring it down. And uh, now it's in the right place, but uh, I should include the following uh, segment. And for that, I will be using uh, F1 merge. Okay. So now I have a perfect alignment except for two segments uh, which are orphans, uh, but that doesn't matter. And I can select File and Save and Exit. Now, LF Aligner asks me, do you want to generate a TMX file? Yes, next. And I can make some adjustments to the TMX. So 
for the language code for Finnish, I will be using fi-fi. And for the language code for Swedish, I will be using uh, Riksvenska, which is sv-se. The rest, I will keep it as it is, and I'll select next. And now I'm being told the TMX has been uh, written with 24, 23 translation units. So I click on OK. And uh, if I go to my alignment project folder, I can see that in addition to the two files that I wanted to align, I have now a new folder created by LF Aligner. And if I open that folder, I will find indeed a TMX file. Uh, I will quickly rename it to something slightly smarter. So that will be a bit shorter like this, so I know that it's uh, Finnish Swedish uh, uh, translation memory. And I'll quickly uh, fire up uh, WordFast in order to check what the TM looks like. So I'll select it here, and it's on my desktop in the alignment project folder, and here. So I'll select uh, all files, and now I can see the TMX here, and I will open it, and it looks quite good. So if I close this and go to the data editor, I can see the content looks quite good. So if I open a certain unit, I can see the content. So it's uh, OK. So there you have it, how to create a translation memory in the TMX format, which you can use in any CAT tool like WordFast, MemoQ, DejaVu, etc using the freeware open source uh, alignment tool called LF Aligner by our Hungarian colleague Farkas Andras. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel for more similar content and see you in the next video.